As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The gospel of the Lord. The great crowd heard this with the lie. When we open our hearts before the word of God, we have the same experience. When we open our heart before the message of Jesus, before his teachings, and you accept that word, you can have this experience in your life. But what is our behavior, our answer before the word of Jesus, before the word of God? Sometimes we don't accept all the message. Many people said, I accept this part, this is good, it's convenient for me, that other part is hard, I don't like, I don't accept that. And before the message of Jesus, their response, their answer is indifference. Is close the door, I don't accept this part. We are in the month of June, the month of the Sacred Heart. And Jesus calls us that imitate his heart. And that is impossible. It's before we don't listen his voice. Our last goal is imitate in perfect way his sacred heart. And I repeat, in order to that, we need to hear his voice. We need to accept his word his teachings. We need to accept his message totally, not just one part, totally. And after that, trust in Jesus because he knows what is good for us. He's the teacher, not you or me or me. Many times, many people try to teach God what is good for us and say to Jesus you are wrong this is not good for me you are wrong with this world with these teachings because in this world in this moment this is not good for us this is not the attitude we need to combat Jesus Christ and we need to remain at his side remain in his presence because it's good for us. Just in that way, you can discover the treasure in the sacred scripture, the treasure in his word. His word is word of life. It's word for our salvation. We need that, especially in this moment. We need Jesus. We need his presence in our life. But if we reject his teachings, his word, his presence, our last destination is without God. Trust in Jesus. Accept his word. I know sometimes it's really hard, but it's good for you. It's like a therapy when you have any uh, illness and you go to the doctor, sometimes that therapy is not good, it's painful, but it's much better for our health. It's the same in our soul. Sometimes we don't understand, and it's painful, painful to accept that teachings, but it's good for our spiritual health, for our salvation. Let us ask to the Lord that give us this good experience that the crowd of the gospel heard 
his voice with delight, with joy in our heart. Let us pray in silence. <laughs>